Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to build an e-commerce website that looks like this in under 10 minutes. Your website can have as many products as you like and your customers can buy them by clicking on the product and adding it to cart. They can view their cart by clicking on the link right here and they can check out using a credit card or PayPal after entering their billing information. Your website is also going to look great on mobile. And since more than half of all online transactions are now made on mobile devices, your customers can easily purchase your products from their cell phones. So the first thing you need is a domain name. The company I recommend and have been using for over 10 years is Namecheap. They offer a great service and a lot of people prefer them over GoDaddy. So head over to Namecheap and search for a domain name. Add your domain name to cart and click on view cart. Here you will get your subtotal and Namecheap will also add free domain privacy subscription to your order. A lot of companies charge over $10 a year for this so you're saving yourself quite a bit of money in the long run by using Namecheap instead of GoDaddy. Next you're going to confirm your order where you enter your billing information and create your Namecheap user account. After you've got your domain name, the next thing you need is web hosting so you can install WordPress. The web hosting company that I use and recommend is HostGator. I have provided you with a special discount link in the description of this video, so scroll down and click that link. You can also click the link in the video itself if you're watching this on a laptop. So go to HostGator using the discount link and sign up for the business plan. This plan will allow you to build a secure e-commerce website with unlimited monthly visitors. Unlike other plans, which are meant for regular websites, which don't require a secure connection. Enter the domain name that you've previously bought. Select a billing cycle of 12 months to get a cheaper price. Enter your username, add a four digit security pin, enter your billing information, and finally uncheck all the extra add-ons because they're not required. Leave the coupon code as is. The link I have provided you will automatically get you the biggest discount available. Click that you've read the terms and check out. After that, you will receive two welcome emails from HostGator. Open the second email to get your login information. Click on the control link and log in with the username and password which are provided in the email. You will now be taken to the main control panel of your web hosting account. From here you can install WordPress by clicking on the WordPress icon. This will take you to the free install option. Click on install WordPress and fill out the required information. Select your domain name, leave the install path blank, enter your email, choose your website title, pick a username, enter the first and last name or just your initials. Then click on install WordPress and close the pop-up box that shows up by clicking no thanks. After that, click on my installs and scroll down. Reset your default password by clicking on the reset password link and pick a new password that you will use to log into WordPress. Make sure to pick a password that has numbers, letters and special characters. You don't want your website hacked, especially since you will be storing sensitive customer information such as names, phone numbers and billing addresses. All the passwords I use are at least 10 characters long. Now we need to connect your domain name to your hosting account. Open the second email you've received from HostGator and find the name server information. You will need to assign these to your domain name. Now log into your Namecheap account and click on manage beside the domain name you've bought. Scroll down to name servers and pick custom DNS. Now copy the first name server from the email into the first slot and the second name server into the second slot. Then click the green checkbox to save your changes. Your domain name is now being connected to your hosting account. This process can take anywhere from an hour up to a day, but usually takes a couple hours. So take a break and come back in a couple of hours. After your domain name has successfully connected to your website, you can log into WordPress by typing in the following URL into your browser. Type in your domain name followed by slash WP admin and press enter. This will take you to the login screen where you enter the username you've created for your WordPress install and the password which we have reset earlier. Then click on login. You will now be inside WordPress where you're going to build your website. The first thing you need is to set the link structure of your website. So go over to settings and click on permalinks. Select post name and click on save changes. Next, we need to remove all the plugins which were automatically pre-installed. So go over to plugins and click on installed plugins. Select all the plugins and deactivate them. Then select them again and click on delete. All the pre-installed plugins have now been removed. Next, we need to install all the plugins that we actually need for our website. Click on add new to add a new plugin. Search for WooCommerce. After you found it, click on install, then click activate. This will add e-commerce functionality to your website. Now you have to go through the setup wizard to modify your store settings. Click on let's go. After that, click on continue, pick your store location, choose the currency, 
weight unit and dimensions. Select if you will be charging sales tax and click continue. Next, choose PayPal standard for payment processing and enter your PayPal email address. After that, choose no thank you to disable data collection and then click on create your first product to finish the setup wizard. Next, we need to install two more plugins. Search for and install a plugin called Force Regenerate Thumbnails. This will allow WordPress to resize all of your images automatically so your website loads faster. Next, install a plugin called Enhanced Media Library. This will allow you to store your product images in separate categories. We're now done with plugins. Next, we need to install a template for our website. So head on over to Appearance and click on Themes. Then click on Add New. Here, you can pick from a wide selection of free WordPress themes. In this tutorial, however, I'm going to use a premium template I got from ThemeForest. You can click on the link in the description of this video to take you to the Enfold theme, which I'll be using in this example. Add the Enfold theme to your cart and click on Checkout. After you've bought the theme, you can download it by hovering over your account name and clicking on Download. Next, click on Download beside the theme name, choose Installable WordPress Files Only, and save the file to your computer. After that, we're going to head back over to WordPress and click on Upload Theme. Choose the zip file you've downloaded and click on Install Now. Wait for the theme to finish uploading. You can see the status in the bottom left corner. After the install is complete, click on Activate to activate the theme. You will now notice a new tab in your WordPress dashboard which you can click on to modify the theme options. Scroll down and click on Demo Import. There will be many different demos available with this theme, but the one we want is the e-commerce demo. Scroll down to find the shop demo and click on it to import it. After it's finished, you will see a pop-up message indicating that the demo was successfully installed. You can now preview your website by hovering over the site title on top and clicking on visit site. As you can tell, you now have a fully built e-commerce website. From this point on, all you have to do is replace the demo content with your own content and replace the demo products with your own products. You can add new products by going over to products in your WordPress dashboard and clicking on add product. If you scroll down, here's where you can specify all the product details such as product type, your inventory stock keeping unit, shipping details, similar link products, product attributes and variations. And there you have it. You have a fully functional e-commerce website which you can use to sell your own products or dropship products from other suppliers. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.